Okay, here is our 1976 Ford pickup, and it's a four-wheel drive, and it has a leak in the radiator. This is our farm truck, and it's a great old truck. If I can just show you right here, right in here is a pin size hole that sprays out into the motor, and it just uh, it needs to be fixed. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the radiator out and make sure that um, I can take it to a radiator guy, have him patch it. Uh, they used to do this all the time when I was younger. You just pull your radiator out, they go through it, clean it up, patch it, pressure check it. Now that the radiators are made out of plastic, they're kind of becoming a throwaway piece. And I really do like the metal ones. They are way better than the plastic. Anyway, here is a uh, bolt that's holding on the fan, fan shroud and I'm going to remove probably four of them. I already got one off down here and I'm working on the other side over there. So There's four. Okay, so I got um, a really good view of it now. I have the uh, drain valve down below, which I'll pull that. And then it looks like I have a uh, hose I got to disengage, obviously, from the bottom and the top. And four bolts. And that's all that's holding it in place. Now that is easy compared to most. That's why I don't like getting rid of the old trucks. They're so easy to work on. Over the years, I have done buckets. I've done cat boxes. I've done whatever I could to catch oil or radiator fluid as I'm draining it out to get to a system. I love this thing. This thing, it sucks it all in, and then all you do is you plug it back up, and you drain it into whatever containers you want, take it to the recycle center. I, you know, if this thing wears out, I'm going to get me another one. It just, it makes things so much easier. It can spill, it has a nice splatter effect, it can spill all over here. It's got a little catch for your, um, oil filter if you're doing your oil changes. Anyway, if you haven't gotten one of these, it's worth your money. It really is. Versus the headaches. So I'm going to put that underneath there. I'm going to try and catch all the antifreeze I can from the system. I think something's not right with this plug. Oh, there it goes. Whoa, and there it went. Okay, the bottom radiator hose is finally disconnected. Many times the fact that it hasn't been done for a long time, um, the hose clamp actually was frozen and broke. The uh, bolt broke in half that was holding the hose clamp on. So I'll have to get a new hose clamp, no big deal. But I'm also going to look and see if I can get a new hose. I'm sure that this hose is probably the original on the truck since 1976. So I'm going to see if I can get a new hose for it. If not, I'll just slap the old one on and hope for good luck. Right now I'm looking at uh, removing this bolt down here. And I'm going to remove... Um, the bottom ones first, there's four of them holding the radiator onto the truck. So I'm going to remove this one here first, and then I'm going to leave the two top ones, and I'm going to undo the two top ones as soon as the bottom ones are out. That way I can do an easy uh, pull up with the radiator when it's all said and done. See if I got it. Shroud out of the way. And here's my prize. I'm going to go ahead and get this ready to go. I'm going to clean up my mess. Um, I do have cats that I really do care about. Uh, they're great mousers, and I do not want them to even come near this antifreeze. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hose it down, and then I think I'm going to do is put, uh, after get it all washed off and clean, uh, any spills that I have, 
Then I'm gonna uh, go ahead and put some vinegar, vinegar down on top of that. They hate that. All right. Solution to the fan shroud problem is that these screws here would go right in the side and it's just so loose, it doesn't fit. So what I've done is you got these machine bolts and I just got a washer on each side and I'm gonna push the bolt through from the back side of the fan here, or the uh, radiator here. And I'm just gonna connect it on. All right, so this is what I'm talking about up close. You got the one and a quarter inch bolt with a flat washer on one side. And you got the flat washer and a half size nut as far as width goes on the other side. And I just tighten it as tight as I can go because this is just going to hold the fan shroud in place. And there's four of them that I had to put on here. Now, this is the solution I came up with. There may be a better solution out there. But uh, when pieces don't fit on the new pieces that you order, you got to make do. So this is what I made do with. Now, what I'm hoping to do is once I get this slid into the truck, um, I'll be able to put the pan fan shroud right over this, and then I'll take another uh, washer, a lock washer, and a regular size nut, and then bolt it down. So that's my solution to the sharp uh, bolt that goes in that no longer connects. There's nothing for it to screw to, and it's too large. The hole that this came with is too large for the original. So whoever designed this didn't design it with that in mind. So, you just got to figure out a new way to do things.